What's up? This is GP75 Motorsports here, and welcome back to we're being attacked by a fucking dragon. This is like the third in five minutes. Shit! Come, where are you? Where all these dragons come from? I know they're. F ah. Come on, just you little chicken. Land over there, yes. Okay, let's go get this dragon. I'll just, come on. And where the fuck is Carjo? I really need Carjo right now. Where is this? Come on, dra Dragon! Come over here, dude. There. Like, land! Land! Come on! And what are you showing me? A dragon and a troll and a freaking Dalmer wizard. Or is, yes, there's... Holy... Sh look at all the stuff on the compass. I'm going to kill everyone in the town because they're fighting me. Look at this mess. What have I done? All I did was come over here. Like, what? Uh, okay. A couple of red guards. Um, couple of Thalmor wizards. Yeah, you better be afraid. Oh no, you don't. You're gonna get an arrow of the face for, for that, buddy. Are you shitting me? It's a frigging storm, Atronach. What? That is the most absurdly frigging overdone over... Like, what? That is just the craziest frigging battle. This entire mod is the craziest frigging battle I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, now that things have calmed down... We can save. Which you need to do very frequently in this mod. You know, you townsfolk have a lot. Have like a freaking lot to thank me for. I mean, I just went over there. Killed a freaking ton of stuff. A dragon. A freaking dragon. I saved you guys from a dragon. You're just standing there. Oh, yeah, thanks for that. And what the f are you doing naked? Okay. Yeah. No standing around naked in the streets. <laughs> okay, so, um, there's a cave up ahead. And. I don't know if we should go to it because, you know, I want to explore all the caves I can, but at the same time, I don't want to be attacked by 30 freaking dragons and 28 storm matronachs and what the fuck ever this mod can. Seriously? Another battle? At least that one was fairly freaking easy. Were you, you know, what are you willing to bet that this cave is filled like with just a solid press of Draugr? Valley of the Dead. Okay. A cave? Cave anywhere? Cave? Where's the cave? Cave. There's got... Because I think I saw in the screenshots that there was a cave. What is this? It's a bar. Like, it's literally a bar. Hmm. An archway with dragon heads. Hmm. I will admit it looks cool. 
you can come over here and just sort of like stand here and watch that again is this is it is this the war zones mod that I've got installed that's throwing all these damn battles dragons watch I don't like the sound of that uh okay um shrine of zira is this a shrine of, yeah it looks like a shrine of zira meridia oh okay okay and the game just froze yeah that's odd jump cut again back in a sec and we're back. Yeah, um, that took a while. Um, so anyway, we were going this way. Yeah. Um, and we are going to attack these two wolves. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why the uh, why the game froze. It'd be helpful if it threw some sort of error, but. You know, I wonder why Skyrim doesn't do that like, when it freezes. Um, so anyway, yeah, I don't want to go over there. I want to go over here. Because hopefully that will help our game not to crash. The music just stopped. Am I the world space? Apparently, over here is out of the official game world space. Oh no, we still got music. That's that's odd. Like that's very odd, and we're getting a lot of pop in with these graphics. That's weird. There's a lot about this mod that's weird. Um, but anyway, so yeah, what we can see of it looks pretty friggin' sick. You cannot deny. So what is this over here that we've got? This uh, this building. Looks a lot like Dragon's Reach. Is it just hovering there? No. Good. Okay, so over here doesn't look doesn't look as finished as the rest of the mod. Um, I wonder if if that's intentional or. Anyway, so yeah, we've got this uh, Dragon Dragon's Reach sort of stand-in imposter here. I uh, wonder what happens if we go inside. And is this just... Hmm. We can't go inside. Uh, okay, so yeah, this area of the mod must not be finished quite yet. But it still looks pretty, uh, pretty freaking cool. We've got our giant, uh, giant fire over there. And what is this? The hot spring. Mm. I don't know why there would be a water fissure there, but whatever. Um, so yeah, we apparently do have a giant over there. Not going to bother him, because God knows we don't want another battle. Okay, so I guess we do sort of have to he start heading back over there now. And get into that giant friggin' battle, which hopefully won't freeze the game again. That, that was odd. I, hmm, maybe it's, uh, I don't know, maybe it's like the game searching for a missing resource that doesn't, you know, that, uh, it has to have. You do get that occasionally with mods, you know. The occasional, um, like for instance, like a custom texture or something that you might need that the mod author forgot to list as one of the requirements or something. Yeah, the uh, sound effects and music appear to be coming and going as they please. Very odd. That that is that is really, really odd. 
Hmm. So yeah, a couple of technical issues with this mod, but still pretty friggin' sweet. Hmm. Valley of the Dead discovered. Um, go over here and try not to mess with these mammoths. Try not to discover that location. Because I think that uh, that location might be the cause of that. Like when you try to... Okay, it's frozen again. That is very, very, very odd. That's not at all supposed to happen. Yeah. That, that's very, very odd. There's some glaring, glaring technical issues with this mod. So yeah, I hate to do this again, but Jump cut. Back in a second. And, uh, we're back. So, yeah. Uh, back here again. And what we're going to do this time is we are going to try to maybe TCL, um, up so far that we can't see whatever, you know, that we can't see the ground. And then we're going to go down and see what else is on the other side of this sort of area. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, this is a fantastic mod, don't get me wrong, but there's just some huge technical problems that really need to be sorted out now. I believe the cause of the issues is that dragon on top of that stone over there, so we're not going to try to look at him. Uh, although this area does... Uh, look very, very unfinished. You know what? It, it just froze for a second there. I swear, up and down, it just froze for a second. That could be the issue. The, uh, the uh, distant terrain not functioning properly at all. So, I don't know why that would be a problem. And it's frozen again. Would you believe it? I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a look at this. Uh, I I don't get it. So yeah, uh, jump cut again. Back in a second. Uh, yeah, welcome back again. Um, so yeah, I've moved this to the top of my loading order, and I've deactivated a couple of mods which should hopefully help with the entire freezing issue. I don't, you know, I don't know what the problem is, and, you know, beyond that, this is a really, really good mod. Uh, but, you know, it's just hard for me to move past these damn technical issues that I'm constantly having with it. So, I don't know what the problem is, but I'm going to TCL here. And I'm going to see if we freeze going all the way up here. It may have something to do with, like, um, distant terrain, but I... Uh, you know, I just, I just don't understand what the problem could be. I mean, I, I don't think I have enhanced distant terrain or any other distant terrain mods installed. Oh. That could be a problem. Look uh, look over there to the, to the left. That's some badly unfinished distant terrain. So I wonder what happens if we just go straight ahead. Yeah, I decide not to look at that distant train over the left because I don't... That just looks like it would freeze your game in a heartbeat. Uh... Okay, so can we go down here? This doesn't look like we're supposed to be able to go down here. 
Are we supposed to be able to? Well, we can. Doesn't look finished. Unless this is distant as well. Huh. Yeah, we're not supposed to be here at all. But I feel that it's the only way around uh, going to the left around the mountain. Because that appears to be where we're having all of the uh, issues. And it looks to be where all the problems are stemming from. So, I don't know. This is very, 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 very odd. You know what? Screw it. Um, we're just gonna TCL here. Oh, uh, TCL. Fail. <laughs> but, yeah, we're, we're just gonna go back to Riverhelm. Screw it. Ah, man. I really want to like this mod, you know? But, just too many, uh, too many technical issues, so, I don't know if we're gonna crash by opening up the, uh, the map, probably, so I'm just gonna go COC Riverhelm. Mm, that doesn't appear to do anything. Except freeze the game. Apparently. Okay, I'm having technical issues with my game. That's weird. Or, no. I'm not. Um, Riverwood... Or, um, just white run. COC white run? Yeah, man. I don't know about this mod. It's good. It's really, really good. Or it could be if you could get past all the technical problems. Because there are many, many technical problems with this mod. They're just so... glaring. To the point of just being unforgivable. It'd be nice if we could... you know, load. Ah. Man, just... The technical issues with this mod uh, just kill it for me. I don't know what uh, I don't know what to say about it, man, because everything about the mod is so good, except for the technical side. And I don't know what the problem is. I've tried every trick in the book. I've tried deactivating. All sorts of mods. Like, you know, I've tried moving it up and down in the load order. I've tried, you know, updating it with the, uh, with the, um, with the sky, with the, uh, mod manager, and nothing. Just, I don't get it, man. If, any, if anybody can, uh, uh, post like in the comments or something what the problem is then you know I may be able to uh, work out you know uh, I may be able to fix it but just technical issues and it doesn't look like this is going to load so I'm I'm going to call it a video here, I'm going to kill the process in uh, Windows Task Manager, and um, I'm going to cheat some money into my inventory, and I'm going to, uh, 
I'm going to, uh, you know, that's why I'm going to pick up Quest for the Crown. So, yeah, I'm thinking about, like, three or four, uh, maybe a thousand gold. And maybe, uh, two thousand, um, for my salary, because I've spent a very, very long time here, even though the game doesn't recognize it as such. Yeah. Uh, just, I really want to like this mod. I really want to. It had so much going for it, but just technical problem after technical problem after technical problem keeps it from being a good mod. You know, otherwise it could have almost been on the level of Moonpath Delsor. It could have been something really special, but it's just... It's bad. Now, because of all these technical problems. Hmm. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys around. GP75 out.